try something a little bit new with uh, like a contouring bronzer thing today. First um, of all, lip balm. I really love this one. It's uh, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream um, 15 SPF. And less heavy than the 8 hour cream itself, you know, if you know that one. Again, time for eye primer. I did primer, eye primer. I'm now just, you know, going in with the brush to take out the product because it start to be kind of just on the sides over there and it's a bit annoying to get it out really. Over that I will use this uh, pinkish uh, bourgeois cream to powder. And yeah, using my finger because that's the easiest way to use these, I find. Then you don't get no crumbly fallout and things like that going. It just, you know, suppose it kind of warms the product up and then it's easier to put it on. Simple as that. Yeah. Tiny bit under the eye. I don't know how tiny my finger is for that, but you know. <laughs> I'm first uh, starting with a fluffy brush and this compact powder. Just here to make a kind of a easier transition thing for the rest of the powder eyeshadows that they won't get stuck too much here. Today I'm using this uh, smoky brown from uh, Dior Trio, and in this there's no liner. There's only three eyeshadows, two satin and one really shimmery one. So I'm taking the lightest color and I'm placing it on the lid in a corner, you know, and tiny bit up here. And I think those bourgeois cream eyeshadows, cream to powder, they really act, you know, nicely for as a base. Darker brown with a smaller brush. Try and keep it kind of really simple today. I think the usual the usual way is the best way today. No thinking about it, just pulling it up. You know, the way I usually do my No, it's kind of when I do it like this and not like that, it makes it kind of strong up here, but you know, it's kind of okay. A little bit this way to make kind of a nicer shape. What I'm doing, I'm doing the light and the dark together, and I continue it inside here a bit, like that. That's not much of the light in it, I think. Mostly dark. That kind of a thing. So, blending it out, and I start from here where it's light, kind of. On both sides, the same thing first. That I won't have to clean the brush in between right now. And then, just kind of going down with this browner color, dark color. And softening up all this corner here just the usual kind of thing I'm taking some of this uh, mineral eyeshadow sealant just a drop and I will use the shimmery part of it like wet as an eyeliner I think I will try this at least you know do something a bit different so I'm going in with, the, with it wet like that it doesn't do much, maybe, but you know. I think since this one is kind of shiny and not uh, dark, I'm gonna use this uh, L'Oreal Super Liner anyways, but just a tiny little bit. As tiny as I can manage to do it, you know? Really on the... Again, I'm going over slightly here with the compact powder, just to blend it a bit more together. See, I forgot about that. I decided to use this uh, kind of shimmery bronzer from... Kind of, it's a shimmery bronzer from Elizabeth Arden. 
in light. And do a brush like that. You know, just a tiny bit there. You can see there's something on the brush. Up here, high up. You know, it acts as a highlighter as well now. And there's gold kind of shimmer in it. Let me just use this one from Estee Lauder again. It's an old duo from their, you know, number three. I don't know, maybe they have them still, I don't know. But if you think there's a huge amount in those, it's like, I think for three lifetimes, just with this one bronzer. <laughs> there's like 20, 21 grams. Hmm. Just this kind of a brush. And they're pretty neutral, those colors. Brushed it off a bit and kind of going like that. You know, it definitely has a little bit of a red, uh, bronzy kind of thing in it. And I'm go kind of going down here instead of putting it here where I'm red, I'm kind of going down here with it so that when it does rub off, because it always will rub off. There's, I don't know, there's no, no, uh, foundation in this world that will be able to keep it on like and then it doesn't look good you know if it keeps it on it usually doesn't look good so I prefer to make my if anyway my face very easily looks darker than the rest because of the redness it starts will start shining through at some point of the day usually especially I'm wearing a scarf and all those things you know and it's it's here all this so I kind of now I overdid it kind of because I was talking about it <laughs> overdid it but that's what I'm, I'm starting to do that instead because I realized it when I'm looking at, you know, old uh, pictures and old, uh, you know, here I'm kind of letting it be here, I'm not red, to make a contour thing. So yeah, I start to realize that I always used to wear two dark, you know, foundations. And then of course... The rest of the, of the body will look like uh, it's not the same person, you know? And why not on the ears too? Especially down here. Here like that. And a little bit here too. And then go down like that. And anyway, you know, I'm always with a scarf on. So even if, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. But if the scarf comes, you know, and it starts to show through with the redness, it looks a bit better if I'm a little bit, you know, not so light on the... Yeah. I think so at least. It's kind of a, maybe just in my head, but so be it then. <laughs> so I'm again taking this first brush, just some loose hair from the other brush. I'm again taking this one really lightly because it's really soft, softer than the other one. The other one is a little bit harsh on the skin. So I don't want to buff with that one. I just want to put it on with it because it's a shape that it is. And then go in with this one. I'm using this fair from uh, lip liner from uh, Smashbox. I'm taking this uh, 001 from the matte uh, Revlon lipsticks that you know been out long time ago. And this one kind of shows all the dry spots. On it, I would use this um, beige kind of uh, neutral color. I say for me, all those lip glosses tend to be too sticky. So I'm taking this Clarins in number six. It's the same color kind of thing, but it's not sticky. Exactly the same color. A little bit more red in it, maybe. Oh, that is so much better. So if you have dry lips and you still want to use, you know, other colors even under and put this one on top, that really works like a charm, at least for me. Yeah. So that's kind of it. Really simple, neutral face. 